You're listening to Big Facts with Big Bank and DJ Scream. Live from Revolt Studios, ATL's yours truly, DJ Scream. Big Bank is here, Baby Jade is here, Shot Jones in, Big Homie Kodak. And it's time for another episode of Big Facts Fridays. What's up, what's up, gang? What's going what's on, gang? Deal, man? How, how everybody feeling today? We're feeling fantastic. Good. Everybody good? Yeah. <laughs> right. Amazing. That's what it is. Well, in Big Facts Friday's tradition, you know what I'm saying, we always have a word of the day that uh, we explore and we move that into a topic. So, Jade, what's the word of the day? Hit us, hit us with it. Okay, so our word of the day is pessimism, and the official textbook definition of pessimism is a tendency to see the worst aspect of things or believe that the worst will happen, a lack of hope or confidence in the future, and or a belief that this world is as bad as it could be or that evil will ultimately prevail over good. Hmm. Hmm. So is pessimism bad? What's the... Uh urban definition the urban definition is something that i do not have right now <laughs> and we can get it in a minute okay so, so you're not properly prepared <laughs> <laughs> no i'm not <laughs> I'm when we do the urban <laughs> we usually do the urban definition every time but but go some, ahead though. i'm but, gonna let you off with that so I appreciate you. Is, 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 pes is pessimism bad? Because obviously the complete opposite of pessimism is optimism. So obviously to some extent we have to talk about optimism today too. But is pessimism a bad thing? I think personally um, it could be bad and good. It could be good in a sense to where, like Black was saying earlier, it may prevent you from being naive in certain situations, which could ultimately lead to your downfall. Mm. But I feel like it could be a bad thing because it could create unnecessary anxiety. And limitations on right. living in life, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. What's your thing? I don't think it could be that bad. Like me personally, I prepare for the worst in every situation. So every time I walk into a room or anything happen, I ultimately think of like, what's the worst that could happen? Like, can I deal with the worst? And if I could deal with the worst, I'll deal with the situation. It's preparation. But what Pessimism, you do if you though? can't deal yeah. with the worst, yeah. and I just take should, my step back, I don't situation. do it. Yeah. Like, it's, if I think about the worst of a situation, I'm like, you know, I don't even want to deal with this. I'll take a step back from the whole situation. It's but, preparation pessimism, though. Like, you should be prepared. But is, it, like, is it being prepared so. if you're thinking about the worst all the time? Like, I'm yeah, not preparing for, sure. for it. Because all I'm preparing for is the worst. I'm not preparing for the actual situation. I'm just preparing for the you worst. Lock, you lock your door at night because somebody could come in your home, right? Mm -hmm. But is that preparation or pessimism? Isn't preparation. it preparation? That's preparation. That's what I think. But it's still, you're still thinking that the worst can happen. That's why you're locking the door, right? But you're prepared. But you're prepared. You're prepared All right, what do you but, but I think pessimism to that degree would be you sitting by the door waiting for somebody to come in. Like you got all your guns by the door waiting for somebody to bust I in know, the door. Oh, right. you saying what you saying basically you ain't thinking about it once you lock your door. Yeah, so like right, right. right. Yeah, exactly. Okay. That's but if you laying in bed, like I hear some. Right. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's yeah. like damn. They pessimism. Yeah, that's, that's me. Paranoia. Yeah. <laughs> that's you. But what about the people that sh that sleep with their gun next to their bed or paranoia? Uh, no, I think that's, that's preparation. Nah, that's preparation. preparation. I sleep preparation. with my gun. I sleep that with my gun. That ain't nothing. Next, huh? Yeah. That's still pessimism. But yeah, because no, the, the average person not sleeping with no gun. <laughs> yeah, the average person ain't sleeping with no gun. I think, gun. I think a lot of, I think a lot lot of gun, people sleep. A lot of sleep. people do that, yeah. The with, average that, person is not sleeping with most, gun, gun, most homes, if you break into them, then you probably going to get your ass If you got your gun on you at all times, and then when you walk through an alley, you walk through there and you grabbing it, what you thinking of? The worst. grabbing it. But if you're a gun owner, most gun owners always have their guns with but them. most gun owners have their gun locked away in Exactly. Shit. Or That's put true. on top of something. You got your gun on the seat. That's true. Ready. That's pessimism, right? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm wrong Because you think you can go down seat. at any time? It's preparation, too. Huh? It's being prepared. If, right, some, try, if, so, if, somebody, if, somebody run up, if somebody run up on somebody and they get got, they're going to be like, you were slipping. You weren't prepared. Yeah, you got caught lacking. But I'm saying, I get it. How would you even think that you could slip if you're not thinking the worst? Thank you. That's a point, that Pastor a Bank. Point. But what I'm saying is, how do we separate preparation with pessimism and you paranoia, can. or are they all together? They all, you can't, they all if, you, together. If, you, if, you, if you're preparing for the worst, that means you're pessimism, right? You're a pessimist. Yeah, that means yeah. If, if you're preparing for the worst, that means you're thinking about some bullshit. No, I, mean, I, think, I feel like if you're preparing for the worst, that just means that you're smart. I think you're prepared. They, they, oh, they, they, you, they said, uh, what you say the uh, definition is? You think the worst can happen, right? 
a tendency to see the a worst tendency. aspect of things. Okay, let me so give you an example. Most people that go by guns. That the worst will happen. Most people that go by guns got guns just in case. Mm -hmm. Preparation. Preparation. A person that's pessimism thinking something can happen. If no, you got, a person you, that's prepared is thinking that something can happen, I, and they want to be prepared to prevent something from happening in the event pe that it does pe happen. Pes I, I pessimism is all, pessimism is also not giving yourself a chance to win per se. So it's like going to play the Powerball, right? And you get the ticket, like man, I know I ain't gonna win. No, nah, see, that's that pessimism. Saying, uh, in, in, You're in, thinking in, the worst. In each situations, what you call it, in each situation is different, right? Yes. Because mm -hmm. it. it could be good or bad. It's good that you're. Preparing for the worst, yeah. it's, but you're still thinking the worst. I think when you're pessimistic. What, you, you what about what about what, what about a realist though? What about a realist? What about the reality that the world has certain is stuff that the going world on? Is so up, I have and to prepare. To be, that's some a realist. The world is not fucked up. That's their that's world. world. Everybody has but different some worlds. Some people are not fucked up. So the world is is fucked up in your mind. That means you're looking at it in a negative way. No, that that's means that's based on that's based on experiences. Bro, how are you looking at the world right now? It's fucked up. But based on experiences. World, we're looking at a based world that's fucked up. Bro, y'all trying to justify being, but everybody's <laughs> submissive. But, but, every, but everybody's that's what perspective trying to justify. not the same on that. Huh? Everybody, everybody's perspective not the same on that. We look at the world as fucked up because we have fucked up experiences. But it's so what that makes you? A realist. A realist? A realist? No. But, but what's a realist? What's the definition again? You got Wi-Fi. Well, no, look at the world what, no, in the what fucked I, what, up way. What I, about, what I was about to say about pessimism. And you just said the world fucked up. You just said the world fucked it, up. But if you're a pessimist, you you only think the bad shit is gonna happen. You you only think you that. Don't you, see you, you, you don't, you don't, don't have no pessimism. If you go in a club and you outside at night, what are you thinking? The worst can happen. You're preparing for the worst to happen. No. You prepare. When you're walking for in the probably, world, your anxiety is up. You don't think you don't think it's gonna happen though. Do you think the the bullshit gonna go down if you go? You out? know that it's a possibility. Girl, if you go yes. to a motherfucking cookout, <laughs> you know what the you deal is. You thinking Some the worst can happen. happen. Every time you hear a goddamn uh, uh, a firework, some drop. Yeah. What you thought? A pessimist get on the plane and think the plane gonna crash. I do. But when you get on the plane, when I get on the plane, I. In my mind, I know this shit can crash. Yeah, exactly. That's but that you're not being a realist. You're not prepared no. for a, it to a crash. A pessimist is saying this when is probably going to crash. When that motherfucker start turbulent and, and shaking and shit, what <laughs> you a, think? It's, it's going down. What's wrong with it more? You ain't thinking like, uh, this is just turbulence? No. I try but what, to. No, but what I'm saying is, is like, like, okay, like you just said, when you get on a plane, you're getting on the plane knowing that this plane can crash. Mm -hmm. Right. You're and not getting on the shaking. plane you, knowing that this plane is gonna crash. Right. Okay. Every time that seatbelt light pop on, what you think? And it be What's shaking. going on? It's, it's turbulence. Go it's it's, it's gonna be a rocky <laughs> flight. <laughs> no. I can't wait it's to this. To I can't wait to this <laughs> flight. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait to this flight over. I don't just be thinking, oh, it's over with. Oh, we're done for. Let me say my final prayers. If you start smelling smoke when you're on the plane, what you? <laughs> you're gonna be a little more fearful because you're a realist. Now know that you're smelling smoke on the plane, I'm gonna bring me another glass of wine, man. The pessimism is realized then, though. It's actual. It's there. But then y'all trying to justify anything you do. Being, being, what is it? Pessimistic. Anything you do with different words. What I'm saying is, if you're looking at something in a negative way. You're being pessimistic. Pessi right? Okay, so another way to break that it down. That don't mean that you are a pessimistic person. Another you're saying way you have a pessimistic mindset on something. On certain things. On certain yeah. Everybody that do. Makes I sense. think we're but born that, with that. Another, another, way to, another way to break it down, basically, is to say that pessimism is a direct parallel to a negative self-fulfilling prophecy. What? Get in the car. Get in, get in the car. And, get in the car and assuming or thinking that it's always going. Like I'm crash. pessimistic about cars. About driving them. About just being in cars. I be feeling like I'm a wreck. Like every time, if a nigga get close to the curb, especially somebody else driving. Mm. If I, I can't sleep in cars while other people drive. Mm. Have you ever been in like an accident? Worst, not really. I don't, you know, did, but, bumped into shit, but I ain't never been in no accident. Accident. Have you ever seen a big accident? Yeah, we lost. No, but I'm just saying, like that that comes with a part of that. Well, like it said, it's usually it's by no, a it's subconscious just, I, way I, of thinking. I'm, I think I'm pessimistic of anything that's out of my control. But well, that do sound like pessimism, because you, you think it's out of my control. That's, a, that's, a big I, that's, yeah. that's what I'm saying. It is what it is. And I think this is a mental disorder too, right? Yeah. yeah. PTSD. But this is the thing, right? I'm just speaking of you call me a lot of time with a lot of optimism, so you're not a pessimistic person. You call me but and you get, have lift my spirit yeah, sometimes. Yeah, but it, it depends on what it is, especially when it comes to people. Right. When it comes to people, I see 
is you on some bullshit until you prove me to me that you're not. Because yeah. dealing with people over the years, I have been let down by people. Mm. That's called a defense mechanism, though. That's not a defense mechanism because at the end of the day, when I meet you and don't know you, I'm still wondering what you want. Well, defense, yeah, that's you know, a defense well, mechanism. Defense because you want to protect Wait, yourself. I keep trying to change word, change the words so, up. It's the same thing. The word, if, I'm looking, saying, if I'm looking well, at you in a negative way, when I meet you, it, that's what the uh, definition you, just you, said, right? You're protecting yourself, though. That's no, still a defense uh, mechanism. Pessimism. Because you're protecting yourself from just what? We can, just because we can... Bullshit. You don't want to be involved in But just because we can justify a word, bro, don't mean that we, we're not being pessimistic. No, that's we all... Mean. No, you're being pessimistic. Just because I can been... justify my actions on why I feel this way doesn't mean I'm being in that situation. In that situation, yeah, you are being pessimistic, because, but it's because of a defense Basically, mechanism. Basically, I think, I think the difference I get is... It. I get the underlying issue on why I'm being that way, but I am being... Like, this word, I never knew this word. So I looked it up last night and just started reading like, damn, this me. Yeah. In certain situations. But yeah. the thing, the thing is with pessimism and like what you're saying about how you meet people, you've been let down in the past. So whenever you meet new people, it's a poss- You look at them like expecting the bullshit. Pessimism, you like the reason that you're feeling like that when you meet new people, you're warranted to feel like that because of your previous experiences with other people. With pessimism, it's just like saying a I lot smoke of times, crack because it because it takes away my pain. No, no, no. You still smoke crack, bro. No, what I'm saying is, what I'm saying is, justification. Just because you can justify why you smoke, don't mean it's right. Pessimism, a lot of times, is it can't unwarranted. be justified. That's what you're Pessimism, saying. Pessimism, a lot of times, ah, is unwarranted. It's, it's like it's, 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 it's a state. It can't it's be justified. Like, can't be you just right. always are gloom and doom. Yeah. You're just a negative. It usually come with depression and stuff like that. So you're saying it's not situational. Yes, that's what you're saying. It's a state. I feel like it's situational. Me personally. I think it's pessimistic and pessimistic. Certain shit, certain shit, certain shit, it's just what it is. You're going to look at certain shit in a negative way if you already been through it in a negative way. Like the lottery, like y'all said before. Like but shit. that means I don't play the lottery because I feel like I ain't going to win, and I might be the nigga to get my name in. That's pessimism. Thank you. That is yeah. pessimism. But, but you just sat there and said I'm optimistic about a lot of shit when you, I call you. But if you do so, go buy a ticket, you're going to feel like you can win. Or you might be like, I ain't going to win, but Sean go play. You probably win. That's how you are, but bro. she said it's a state. It is a state. That's pessim- it's a what we're doing no, is pessimistic and pessimism. I'm, I'm thinking she's saying, if you're being, if you that, you that all the way around. If you're being pessimistic, you are all the way around. You're always negative about shit that you have no reason That's to be negative pessimism. about. Pessimism. That's pessimism. No, what I'm saying. Pessimistic but is I could be pessimistic That's about something saying, right yeah, now. Exactly. Like this, this That's food, what I'm this saying. food ain't gonna taste good. That's this what I'm this saying. gonna be yeah. nasty. That's, That's pessimistic. Anyway. So what are we talking about? Pessimism or pessimism? Or a person being pessimistic. Y'all change the word. I said the word pessimistic. Y'all change the word. Pessimism. 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 I get it, Big but fact. pessimism, I'm not talking about, I'm talking about pessimistic. Can that be selected? Yes. Yeah. That's what I'm speaking of. Yeah, being I'm pessimistic. Not, I'm not in a state where I'm a pessimism. <laughs> because <laughs> everything I start, yeah. any, type of, any type of thing that I start, or uh, business, I see the great in it before I even start it. Yeah. Right. Mm-hmm. But when I see a nigga, I'm thinking, what this nigga on? Right. Mm-hmm. You're being so pe- it's two different things. What I'm trying to get y'all to say, what I'm, what, am I tripping? It's no, in the same right. family, but I, feel, I nah. see what you're saying. You're being pessimistic <laughs> about the person. It depends the context, the context of the situation. But I, I ain't stuck in, in ism. I'm, I'm on <laughs> itch. Whatever. Pessimistic, <laughs> zick, zick. That's me. Pessimistic. A lot of shit. That's me. Everyone is pessimistic. About that's what I'm speaking things. about. Like she, she brought up another word that I'm glad because I just learned two words. She brought up pessimism. No, I'm not that. Mm-hmm. But am I pessimistic about a lot of shit? Yes. yes. Mm-hmm. That makes sense? Perfect sense. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <What's> <laughs> that, I'm pessimistic about being in cars, <laughs> pessimistic about people, but I'm not about my ability to do certain shit. I ain't finna go into nothing thinking I'm gonna lose. Right. Well, you have more optimism yeah. for things involving yourself than you do for other people. That's, right. That seems like... But then the that comedy. goes back to what but he pessimism said. pessimism can stop, like Jay saying, pessimism can stop you from even excelling. Because yeah. you already not trying because you know you're going to fail. But yeah. that goes back to that's what a, he says about... Idiot. He's pessimistic pretty much primarily about anything Involving that's not within his control. Exactly. Thank you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Thank you. That's yeah. all I'm saying. Like, yeah. All right, and that, which is, that which is warranted because if you can't control this shit, you don't know what the moment anything can doing. happen. Ex- exactly, that makes sense. That yeah. makes all the sense. Do That's... being pessimistic 
about love stop you from loving or being loved. Definitely. because yes, you wouldn't even so know how to pessimism. love. Definitely. Right. You wouldn't know how to love, nor would you know how to receive love. Or what because love, if you don't know what, what your love language is. So before you can love, you gotta like. know what your love language is. A person being pessimistic about love is usually someone that's either been abused, cheated on, or lied to a lot of times, and they project that pessimism onto their future and that's, next partners. That's PTSD. Exactly. PTSD. But who's not PT who 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 what right person in their mind that been through anything that, that the normal um uh, middle class American, black American mm -hmm. not don't have PTSD. Not everybody, everybody got it. I think a lot mm -hmm. of black people got PTSD in different type of forms. Thank mm -hmm. you. That's what I'm saying. So mm -hmm. at the end of the day, I can't say that somebody's stuck, like she was saying, it's two different words. I'm glad that we got to that. I can't say that a motherfucker is stuck being a Debbie Downer, but in certain situations can trigger you to be a Debbie Downer. Based you know? off a previous experience. Experiences. Thank you. That's yeah. what and I, that's, that's where what... the anxiety, the paranoia, yes. and the PTSD comes from. Yes. Mm -hmm. You but don't you... think some people are just stuck being Debbie Downers? Like yes, no I what? do, but I don't think nobody at this table is that. No, I agree. Right, no, yeah, for I sure. agree, for sure. But, but like I said, like, like, but like, like when we, like a whole bunch of Big Facts Fridays ago, when we were talking about relationships and like niggas that deal with women that are going to nag no matter what, because that's just what's in them. Those type of people are the people that we're speaking about that are consistently, constantly, and always pessimistic. But they might just be like that about that situation with that dude. Or they no. may just, or they may see better in that person and, and trying to push that person to be better Cat. at all. It's it's bitches it's out it's bitches out there that no matter what the nigga does, no matter what the nigga tries to do, no matter what the nigga thinks about trying to make trust. it better. You already broke yeah, trust. Yeah, you already bullshit to her. No, but no, but what I'm saying is what if what if you ain't never done nothing to this bitch and she's like, so y'all ain't got together. nothing to do with you though. So yeah, she's right. trying to be in a relationship. That's what I'm saying. If the nigga before you did that. And she's projecting all of that onto you and giving you all of this bullshit because of what this other nigga put her through. Y'all shouldn't not even be there. Y'all shouldn't even be yeah, there. But that's on you. That's a state yeah, of that's, pessimism. That's on, no, yeah, that is a state that's of pessimism. That's on whoever's But a lot of people, up. a lot of yeah. people don't get that deep into the situation until after they've been together for years or had kids or yeah. whatever. And then those type of things make you feel obligated to the situation. So you try to do what you can to muddle through and deal with it. But at the end of the day, this is some shit that you really can't take. Man, like I said, when, at the end of the day, no matter what, you when you come into any relationship, any friendship, anything, you see all the signs of everything you need to see in the beginning. If you choose to ignore them thinking they're going to get better, or that's change. your problem. Yeah. Right. yeah. A lot of people that's just think what it's going it to change. You're going right. to see immediately what, what it is, is. Yeah. what you're dealing with. Intuition. No matter what, like right the same day. And it don't even have But you gon' you like so much other shit about them, you try to ignore that. Yeah. Until mm -hmm. it starts to increase, 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 then now I can't deal with it. But you I've been like this. Which yeah. is optimism. Yeah. Or it could be about how they treat other people. Like you'll watch how they treating you and think like, oh, they treat me so great, but you will see that they treating this other person bullshit. I I am a firm believer that you watch how people treat other people, eventually they're gonna start treating you bullshit. Mm. It's gonna come right back around. Like if somebody just treating other people bullshit all the time, but treating you like you just oh so mm. great, eventually when you stop giving them what they want and what they desire, you gonna be on that bullshit side too. Mm. Facts. I agree with that. Yeah. Facts. Cause by the time, yeah, by the time you trying to look over shit, now they done ruined you. Now mm -hmm. you pessimistic about her. Ass. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> right. Mm -hmm. That what you just saying, right? Yeah, basically. Yeah, that, that's what it is. Like, mm -hmm. but you gonna allow yourself somebody else to put you in that space mm -hmm. when you already know I can't deal with that. Like, back to the cigarette shit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You already know yeah. you don't like motherfuckers smoke cigarettes, yeah. but you trying to deal with it, thinking I can love you enough to you stop smoking cigarettes. Or eventually right. you gonna love me enough to stop smoking that cigarettes. That don't go like that. Yeah, yeah, you like can't that. love anybody out of who they truly are. Like mm -hmm. that, they were there before. They, they, that was them before you got to them. They're gonna be like that forever. Mm -hmm. Facts. So is, you think like the opposite, like is op optimism sometimes bad because it makes you like naive or gullible or lets your guard down for all these attacks, which is the opposite of pessimism, optimism, thinking everything is all good. I think yeah. it make you gullible. That's an idiot. That's gullible. an idiot. Yeah. Now you, you don't think everything all good. Some people come Turn from that world. When some people come from that world, they ain't never seen that, bro. But that what, what to, usually happened to those people? But okay, so so how you some saying people stay turn in that on world the news their whole life. and you can't think everything is good? That goes back to what we were saying about reality. 
What about Rihanna? About thinking of living, not being necessarily pessimistic, but just being a realist to because me, we turn on to the me, news. To me, I feel like being pessimistic in certain situations, you have to be. Yeah, but... Because okay. being pessimistic about certain shit would make you prepare, like y'all trying to say. Yeah, but what I'm Thinking saying... Thinking the worst that somebody can break in your house and harm you and your kids would make you prepare. Yeah. I am pretty sure that uh, Kanye and Kim Kardashian and DJ Khaled's kids are very optimistic because they haven't experienced no bullshit yet. So they don't know nothing about none of that shit. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. You got they, so I, they, do they don't you, know so nothing do about that. If you grow up in that... Calabasas your whole life, you don't know nothing about some of the shit. Well, they better so, stay in Calabasas. <laughs> so do you believe... So, okay, well, well if y'all are saying that, do you guys believe that your outlook on optimism versus pessimism depends on your environment? For sure. For sure. Yeah, absolutely. Yes, definitely. Sure. You're, a product, definitely. you're a product of your environment. You definitely are. Absolutely. I'm just saying that there are environments that we might not have been exposed They're to where people are la 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 la. When you meet that person, world. it seems like they don't have, to you, yeah. you feel like they don't have a clue. Yeah. 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 And to them, you like don't, we have, don't have a clue. Right, for sure. So that's two different worlds. I'm talking about our world and the Big Fat Friday. Oh, the Big Fat Friday world. The listeners who listen to us. Pessimism. They pessimistic <laughs> down a motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> and we want to get y'all out, out of another that. Line. We want to get y'all <laughs> out of that. I don't want to get y'all out of it. <laughs> I want to get y'all out of it in certain situations if you let, if you allow them to stop you from certain well, shit that's entering you. That's what I mean. Yeah. But other than that, bro, this shit up. come with it, bro. Keep don't have the mentality up. of I ain't Stay shit, dangerous. I ain't never gonna be shit. Yeah, don't dangerous. be that pessimistic. It's just like you seeing a nigga with the poo shikes mask on with a stick in his hand, you like, oh, he just got that for protection. <laughs> no, he about no. to tell you to lay down, man. <laughs> <laughs> Big fact. <laughs> oh, so you're gonna be optimistic about this. <laughs> oh, I'm about to go to a photo shoot. Oh, shit. It's just like you parking your car in certain spots. You're thinking the worst can happen. My car, my window can be bust. Yeah. Oh, God, mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. They busting everybody one in Atlanta, but you're going to be optimistic like mine ain't going to get busted. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Then it get busted. Or you, pre or you just prepare for what come with it. You yeah. might be cool with it. Like, damn, they're going to bust me one but shit. I got I to pay for it. Nah, the preparing is when they need the car unlocked. And then the window down, oh, so yeah, you they just put, open they, the they car. They put the plastic bag on the motherfucker and like mm -hmm. it already got booked. Why would you leave your, leave your laptop and things on the seat? Because a lot That's of That's an optimistic Because question. a lot of people it, it, think it, it, about it, it, what life should that be. Is, that is, that is very person. optimistic. Yeah. I'm just people, running in here. A lot of people, naive, a lot of people think about what, lot, what life should be instead of what it is. Well, I should be able to leave my car here. Yeah, and yeah, 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 yeah. I like you going in the gas station with your car crump. We used to be able to do that back in the day. Who the but fuck does that? We back used to be day, able to do that back in the day. I used to do it back yeah, in the day. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, back in the day, you can do that. You can leave your car running and running. Yeah, yeah, yeah. hell yeah. In that's LA, true. for sure. But it wasn't, but it wasn't like how it is now. People are actually buying these cars from these guys. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. They will make this shit into a hustle. Yeah. Mm. So yeah. you have to be... Mindful. Yes. Mindful. Yeah. Not necessarily pessimistic, but mindful. Be but mindful. what could happen. But do mindful preparation, and all these other words y'all trying to talk around pessimistic. <laughs> Leads back to that. I just feel like pessimism is gloom and doom. Pessimistic Pessimism. People, pessimism. For sure. But yes. you can you can start off the day pessimistic about your day. You might not be in a state of pessimism, but them gloom and doom people that wake up on some pessimistic shit. Well, I'd never be like that. That's what so I'm saying. So I guess I'm speaking from a point of things I can't control once again. Right. Like, I can't control... Yeah. Like, if I see Kodak today... Depends on how he is. I don't know what Kodak on until he speaks. Right. Mm -hmm. Then okay, yeah. But off the rip, I'm not gonna say shit to him till he, if he looking like something's on his mind. <laughs> 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 until gonna... he be like, bang, oh yeah, this same Kodak. Okay. Yeah. 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 <laughs> because I can't predict how he's gonna you be. You don't know. You don't know what, I, what I've been going through. Yeah. yeah. What, what might switch it up? Yeah. yeah. That's true. Nah, that's true. Yeah. yeah that's like true. I don't know what you got going on. I'm really trying to see if you're finna punch me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking the worst. Yeah. Wait, you mad. You could have to so you know, walk up today and be the nigga who want to shoot up a school. Baby, so you don't have no, no situations. Way. You don't have no situations of optimism. Oh, like, huh? Optimism. Yes, plenty, bro. Okay. I'm optimistic about When you go out facts. on that trail. What, what I speak about big facts when we move forward? Very big optimistic Everything things. that's going on right yes, now. Yes, very big optimistic like, things. Yes. Yes. Because and when you I out on the trail. It, I know it don't take nothing but... Nothing for me to do now, but keep great people around me, fuck with the right people, and do my best. Yeah. And mm -hmm. I know I'm going to do that. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. But 
<laughs> <laughs> I can't be optimistic about I'm going to hit the lottery. Because mm. you can't control that. Because I've never done it. Right. And I think it's a scam. Mm. I played the scam. I'm just saying. I, I, but did you win? I, I, I didn't I played win. In, I played in but I thought I was going to win. I understand that. But I knew you I could was tell win. me I wasn't going to win until I, I lost. I just feel like, <laughs> how the fuck I'm going to get that lucky? That's, I guess, that's, I'm that's pessimistic. pessimistic. That's, that's pessimistic. pessimistic. Yeah, yeah. For, sure. for sure. I feel like the luck that I have is what I'm doing to be able to work. Yeah. Mm. I don't got the lottery yeah. luck. Hopefully yeah. my wife hit it. Realism. Realist, re yeah. Reality. Reality. Real, realistic. You know what I'm saying? But you won't yeah. have the lottery luck if you don't play. You don't even play, so you ain't even... Because I, I don't even want to try to waste that luck on some shit that I need this for over here. <laughs> you think you got, you got a certain amount of yeah. luck? Yeah. Yeah. I ain't you got a pot, you got a pot luck. I ain't trying yeah. to waste yeah. my trophy. They <laughs> <laughs> roll the wrong dice. <laughs> but like they said, it's, it's pest, pessimistic. could be good for gamblers. Yeah. Because yeah. you can win enough money to be like, Man, well, I'm finna end up losing the rest of this shit. I ain't finna win no more. Yeah. I'm finna quit. Yeah. So, uh, so yeah. optimism and pessimism is both good in doses. You can't have too much of either. Balance. Thank yeah, you. right. Yeah. Thank yeah. you, Kodak. But that you know what I think that makes you? You know what I think that makes you? A realist. Right in the middle. Agreed. The right in the middle right is a realist. Middle. Some bad shit can happen or some good shit can happen. I like so that. So I'm going to prepare for both. I like that. Thank the you. realist living now, in the middle. Yeah, okay, yeah. You yeah. kind of really just ended the episode. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I, I, think, I think that was that. It's a DJ script. That's it, though. Yeah, a realist. But there's also another word. Okay, we just have to bring this up, but what place does paranoia play in all of this? Like, how detrimental is paranoia? And we paranoia, all know I think, would be the negative... Ex My fucking jaw just got stuck. The negative... <laughs> <laughs> the, <laughs> the negative extreme of the spectrum of pessimism. That's what... Yeah, okay. That's what I was kind of getting at. And those are the people that generally can't function. Paranoia. Paranoia, like, stops your ability paranoid to function. Paranoid people are fucking hypochondriacs. Yep. Paranoid people are fucking whatever kind of other acts that feel like <laughs> some shit is... And that, that I'm going to tell, tell you what helped me with my pessimistic ways. The four agreements. Oh, the definitely. Book, yeah. The book helped For me sure. with that shit. Because sure. it's like, can't take nothing personal. You know what I'm saying? You got to speak your words. You know what I'm saying? Like And stand on them. Yeah, like different shit. Like, you ain't never, if y'all ain't never seen that book or read that book or heard that book, go get it. It's a must read. Because read. it helps you. Yeah. For sure. But the shit that's inside you is not going to allow you to be naive. Right. So I'm glad for everything I've been through, everything yeah. I've seen. Like, I don't feel like it could have made a better nigga. Mm. To me. Mm. So I take the good with the bad. If I'm pessimistic, I'm not ism at all. Because <laughs> that's a person that just stuck as a Debbie Donald, right? Right. Yeah. Right. No, I don't feel like I don't even allow myself to be around those kind of people. Right. Right, right. But am I about certain situations? Yes, because I can't fight the feeling. Mm. How can you? How can you fight something that when you is like deja vu to you? Mm. Yeah. How? Mm. Based on your experiences, that's your reality. Yeah. If a nigga say the same shit that a nigga said who fucked over you before he did it, how you not gonna see that? Yeah. Mm. And a hundred percent, a hundred percent of the time, in them situations. If the nigga right. wear the same cologne you're as right. a nigga that did something to you, <laughs> how you don't smell that? You right. <laughs> you gonna be right. Yeah. Mm. Whatever that situation telling you it is, shit. If a nigga walk like the nigga <laughs> 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 who did something to you, how he don't? That ain't him. Yeah. Preach. You gotta prove to me that you ain't him. Damn, is that prejudice though? Are we all prejudiced? Whatever it is, listen, it is. Are it's we all like, prejudiced? It's like you, you know, like you go outside today and you like, damn, it smell like it's about to rain. Are you pessimistic I... about police when they get behind you? I don't give a fuck who you is. Every time. Yeah. You see the motherfucker. Every time. You see the motherfucker. Five down. cars back. Is you thinking he you, coming to get me? You gonna slow down? Pessimism. Pessimism. If you see the motherfucker, you can fire pay about them bitches on the spreadway. Is you thinking, damn, was I going too fast? They could already he finna come get me. They could have already pulled somebody over. You still gonna slow down? Pessimism. Yeah, a nigga, they could be have a nigga pulled over. <laughs> you still gonna slow down? <laughs> <laughs> you gonna think, damn, they out here? 
Yeah. Damn, that's somebody else. You ain't doing shit. You legit. You everything. You, like you, your car. You ain't smoke no weed. Yeah. Law, law about being fast. Law about being fast. That shit causes anxiety. Still man. pessimism. Yeah. Huh? Still pessimism. But then that comes you. from experience. And that is PTSD. Yeah. Yeah. That is awesome. It's just from um, yeah. anybody. Yeah. Because just being black, you at risk. Damn. So and that, that is the reality. So, but it's saying that's that what, I'm saying, what, so. what 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 makes it the other way? You think like, well, they feel that way about us. What Who? created that? Police and authorities and all this Because niggas do be people, doing shit. Par paranoia. Niggas, what he said. Paranoia or no, what he what said. No, what he said. Niggas do be doing shit. Exactly. Like niggas be acting like, why Thank the police you. doing it or why they scared? Niggas be shooting their ass too. Big facts. That's true. Niggas but be why doing niggas a lot shooting? of. No, I ain't know why. Niggas it don't matter, because niggas shit. is pessimistic about the police. That's a cycle. That, that's what I'm saying, but who and started, who started the cycle? And about niggas. That's what right I'm saying. I know well, it sounds like some bullshit, but it's go, the truth. If we want to go back and get into that, we're going to have to go all the way back to slavery, probably. Mm. But slavery still is still with niggas crossing niggas in the slavery days. Yep. We still got to own up to what we do. Yep. But who put us into slavery? Accountability. Niggas. Niggas. niggas was niggas was niggas was giving niggas was giving niggas was niggas was giving niggas 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 was niggas niggas was giving niggas niggas was giving niggas niggas was niggas niggas was giving niggas niggas was giving niggas niggas was giving niggas niggas was giving niggas niggas I'm not gonna sell it. <laughs> We're together. Are we together? Fuck oh my my God. God. Niggas come tell another niggas, I can make you a king. Just send me a few of your niggas. Niggas did it. But Big why? Who, but who provided the incentive for them to be able to do it that? Shouldn't have been no incentive. It, it shouldn't have been it, that. Get your there, fuck ass out of here, bro. If there's no mm. market, yeah. Get out of here. Ain't no niggas to sell. Who you going Who they gonna buy? Thank who you. cultivated the market though? That's what I'm trying to get to the point of. Niggas. No. Nigga, how we know it ain't a nigga that as call a, like, hey, a, I can as, sell as, some niggas. As, we as don't a, know. As, a, as an African, I must say that Africans had servants. Yeah, they had servants, but what I'm saying to you is, we put slavery. niggas on a boat and brought them over here. But they listen, were sold. You, 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 they were sold. They were sold. Okay. Well, we this discussion is not going anywhere, though. Yeah, 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 yeah
When them folk walk, pulled up with them pale ass faces in Africa to my buying some niggas at they pulled to show them how this go. We won't play like that over here. Yeah. Fuck on. Mm. So they hear about goddamn old Bob Bob Pete didn't make it back from over there trying to buy no niggas. Yeah. Don't go back over there. <laughs> nah, and, that, and to your point, that shit, you see what happened there with the Haiti with that shit. The Haitian one going. Mm. Mm. I just say everything, everything, shit, every, every uh action cause a reaction, bro. This is how I look at it. And then we gotta just start from where it started. Like I can't be mad at my wife that she's paranoid about me when I'm not there. <laughs> I caused those actions. <laughs> from my actions. I'm about to play with this man. I'm just being real. I'm about to play. I can't get mad that she called me on FaceTime to see <laughs> where you at. You can't she fall. called me on FaceTime to see what's going on. You can't fault her pessimism, is what you say. I can't fault her. I gotta look into myself and say, what which how would you feel? Well, do you do you rebuttal that with excuses? No, I don't rebuttal excuses. I but I rebuttal it with compliance. Mm -hmm. What's up, baby? Let you see everything you ever need to see. <laughs> Matter of fact, you can come too. That's how. That's the only way I'm. A, what else can I do? Get mad that I put you in a place that now you're goddamn doing with the saying things that I don't. How can I not like that when I the one did it? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. That's a big fact. No, that's accountability. Which that's what it takes to be on some real grown up shit. You gotta have that accountability. Accountability definitely lost art in society though. Everybody, everything somebody else fought. Excuses. Yes. Excuses. Niggas broke because another nigga. If he would have did this, what you do for yourself? Because it's hard for a nigga to to look in the mirror and say, damn, it's really my fault that I ain't on shit. But it's easy for a nigga to say, damn, it's his fault I ain't on shit. I think what it is is when people see other people that have help with certain things and then they want that type of help, they get mad that they don't have that help. You but get what I'm saying? How you gonna get mad at the end of the day if it's something worth help, helping, somebody gonna step up to it because they can see value in it. Mm. If it ain't shit to help, what I'm here, but I'm gonna take you from zero. A lot of people you get that, that shit to yeah. like 25, 30%, niggas start to see it, start to pay attention. Get to 50, I can help you get to 100. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's true. Niggas want you to come get them at zero and take them all the way to 100. How'd that go? But also, is you can't compare your race to somebody else's because you don't know what the other person had to go through to get to where, where they are. Exactly. Facts. So if I, see, if I see this other person, like you said, if I see somebody else with help, I don't know what the fuck they went through to get to the situation where other people were willing to mm -hmm. help them. Facts. Mm -hmm. But you have to do your own work at the end of the day. And, it, and it's so hard to, to start that shit. But nigga, nothing easy comes, nothing good comes easy. Right. That's a fact. <clears throat> so. Damn. Shit, that's what I think. Put legwork in, niggas will catch on eventually. But that happens a lot, like in a workplace. Like when, just say for instance, like you're working and you have a team, and each team member has a different thing that they're supposed to do, yeah. a different position that they're supposed to play. But then they feel like, okay, either they can do what this next person is doing or they feel like they should be compensated just as much as this person because their work or whatever is just as hard or they feel like they've gone through just as much as this person mm. and then they start resenting the other team members and the other workers because of the way that they're being um what's the word i'm looking for the way that celebrated. they're being celebrated for their job and they feel like they're not getting that same type of celebration when at the end of the day, again, you don't know what these people had to go through to make it to the position to get to where they're celebrated and all the work that they put in and all the other shit that they've done. So it's kind of like that shit just creates a lot of unnecessary That's tension for nothing. That's just a hater. Yeah. That's just what it is. You're just a hater. You just want what somebody else got. All you got to do is keep working. Whatever you do, you keep working. It's going to show. Mm -hmm. One thing about it, you go to the gym, you're going to start getting smaller. You do push-up, you're gonna start getting yeah. muscles. Yeah. You keep working, motherfucker gonna eventually see, hey, she done outgrow that position. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But people don't wanna do the work. That is the That's what it is, bro. Right, exactly. You can't even find a nigga to cut your hair no more. You know they used to have niggas pull up and cut your hair, pull up and wash your car. <laughs> like, all the car wash niggas got them bougie, like, shit, bro, make an appointment. Appointment? Y'all niggas ain't even hungry no more, bro. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. You don't want five cars a week when you can wash your home. Yeah. Then you go home and, and make excuses. These niggas ain't fucking with me. But when nigga call you, you are not available. Yeah. 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 I think that that's that's the world that's created where everybody like creates. I ain't gonna say more value than what they are, but 
No, that's, no, that, that's, 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 that's exactly what yeah, they okay, are. More valuable people than what they think are. That like. They're more valuable than what they are, and people think that they deserve more than what they actually should be getting. Yeah. Do you think social media plays no, a part in that? Yeah, yeah, go back to all the instant, instant gratification. Yeah. yeah, you see people go from like nothing to something by a post. So everybody want to feel like they're a part of that. Everybody you know wants to be at that same store. And I'm yeah, sure, everybody I'm sure. wants to be part of that it crowd. So every, just think about it. All of us, even with social media, a lot of people run their pages as if they're already there. Yes. Before they even get there. You yeah. know what I mean? You got but, basic people doing big ass photo shoots, doing all this stuff to make themselves look like a certain photo something shoot for because a of thousand followers on yeah Instagram. because of the way social media looks at everybody. And if but, you ain't popping, you ain't it on social. But you can't. But you can't fault people for doing that because at the end of the day is still them putting in their own work to get to where they feel like but they need to be. But you can't believe that mm -hmm. you somewhere you're not. Exactly. No, you're supposed to make it look good, but you mm -hmm. can't go to believing that you already there. Yeah. Like when they call you for a show for a thousand dollars and you that's what you worth a thousand dollars, you can't be like, no, nah, I need ten. Yeah. Right. You'll never get booked. Right. Yeah. yeah. Just because your pictures look like goddamn Drake pictures. Yeah. yeah. Right. Or your you social media Drake. is yeah. at 100K following, like... And I know, and I know, like, you and Jay definitely as women, like, you've probably seen the difference, like, in how, like, the hair people, like, the beauticians and shit start treating themselves like everybody, like, it's a bunch of people claiming they're celebrity beauticians and shit now. Well, they, they feel even... like they, that, once they do one celebrity, one celebrity hair, all of a sudden you a celebrity beautician. So, that's just what it really? is. Like, I don't not, even deal with the hair people. in the new age, like... I've been getting my wife health fit for a long time. You usually just pull up to the shop, but that shit over with. Yes, yeah, dead. Now you gotta send a deposit. Mm -hmm. You gotta goddamn wash your own hair. Yeah, what your hair got? You got them. They'll be ready. Yeah. Hmm. I don't even deal with it no more. I ain't even gonna lie to you. Social media did that. I wish a nigga would tell me to wash my own hair. Nah, you got <laughs> some man. man it's this one girl <laughs> on Instagram. <laughs> she she got the best these braids. Nuts. <laughs> It's this one girl on Instagram, I swear to God, her braids are bomb as hell. I've been wanting to book her. But literally in her booking process, of course you got to send a deposit. She wants your nails to be done. I don't know why what your nails... Do Hear me out, I swear to God, in her, bo in her booking I process, your nail can be done and your fucking makeup has to be done because after she's done doing she your... She wants to take pictures. She wants to take these pictures. She wants to bring your hair in the shots and all that. So that's free promo. But at the, at the same time, you're paying, you paying four, four five hundred dollars. Hell yeah, you're paying four five hundred dollars for some braids. But yet, she wants your nails oh, and yeah. your makeup and to be done. And you gotta be on time. You lose and your deposit. And you gotta be on time. Lose your deposit in 10 minutes. 10 minutes is out of here. You gone. I ain't never, I ain't never did that. But it. it might be quality control, though, if it's working. It's, ra I mean, it's, it's, it's raising working. the bar. It's, it's raising the bar. I was gonna say it's raising the bar. That don't mean you have to... But it's just different. Yeah, I don't like it either, but I ain't never did that shit. I'm not ever gonna do that. You don't have to subject yourself to it, but I see where they're going. <laughs> I see where they go. You used to be able to just walk into the salon. You oh, know same what I'm thing with a haircut. Nah, barbers yeah. are doing that. Y'all got uh, haircuts now walk. for guys is what? $50, $60? What happened to like $20 oh, haircut? 80 80 or 100 at the tip. Swear to God, you paying a $80 for your I just paid 80 for a bowl here just now, 20, 20 minutes before I got here. Swear, why well, you gotta get you some nair? Just nair your fucking head off, $5. I need the face shape. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but shit, I, niggas, niggas want. It's inflation too now. It's inflation. Yeah, yeah, Everything's yeah. high. That's yeah. fast. Everybody need more, including us. On God. <laughs> Big on it. Everybody need wink, more. Wink, wink. <laughs> but I kind of see that though. I, so I kind of take that back. If you want 10000 for a show, stand on it. But don't stop. You got to be, yeah, yeah, yeah. be prepared for don't niggas to say, fuck bro, you. I'm just doing it yeah. for you. I'm just doing it for you. I'm doing it for you. Don't tell nobody. Don't tell nobody. Yeah. Tell these folks you gave me 10, but, but you, you gave me that thousand. Won't, broke, won't break or stay like fucked up trying to stand on their price. That's the mm. When are you going to know you're not worth that price? That's the optimism, though. That's the optimism. But what if one person, I'm a firm believer, once one person pay it, it's up. I it think that's... You can get one, one show for 10000 a month. I mean, for ten thousand in one month, uh -huh. then you shit. I get ten thousand show because you got one ten, but you could have got five thousand every day of that month. You right. Mm. That don't right. make sense. Mm. Yeah. yeah, I agree. Yeah. I agree. It's okay. some people who think different, but I agree. Like your, oh, uh, I don't want to keep saying Kanye. See, I just always have Kanye's price for everything. Your... You get what I'm saying? What you want? Who you want? Big Bang? You want black? <laughs> you want big bank black? You want shit show bank? You big bank black? Like, There's a price for all them niggas. Which one? <laughs> Who you booking? What take, you want me to I'm do when take I come? Notes from that. What you want me to I'm do? Depends on what you want me to do when I come in the building. It's the price. Right. 
what's, what's the most expensive one? Huh? What's the most Who's expensive most one? Big bang, bang. Your high level feeling. Shit. Whichever one you like the most. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> Whoever you booking, that's the most expensive. One. Um, oh, right yeah. now, Big Facts Bank is is the the top priority, and then right under him, Big Bank Black for a slight discount. <laughs> and then you know we going down like after that or whatever. Yes, so. bro. We can do old school. I can bring back the song. <laughs> what do you want? You want me to host? How do you want me to dress? Oh, all man. that plays a factor. Yeah, because yeah. we have to include the wardrobe and his booking fee and all yeah, that. Kind of shit, all so. that plays a factor. If I'm a drink that night, or how many people coming with me, my security, all that shit plays a factor. Mm. Hey, baby, take mm -hmm. bookings. <laughs> I'll like get it. you right. But that's what like you got to do. Though you got to right. set a price for my fellow artists. Set a price. You have to scale your shit. Yeah, scale your shit on how, because you you don't supposed to turn out no money in this shit. Period. You ask me. Period. Nah. Unless you done got to that status like a future, a baby, or niggas like that. Hell yeah, because you don't want to run yourself dry and you don't want the number to spread. Well, bro, he just did charge me 200, but he want to end my show. You know what I'm saying? So you so when, in that situation, I get it. But when you on a come up, bro, or you just average or mediocre or whatever, bro, you supposed to have a price for it. You supposed to have something for every price. Boosie. <laughs> Boosie. Yeah, Boosie out of here. Smart, what you want? <laughs> you want a picture? No, what, yeah, what you, you want? Boosie got something for everything you think you want. Yeah. A price. You want a whole price. And he getting the same kind of money as the mother nigga. Yeah. Yeah. Because he getting it all. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. That's the difference, bro. Yeah. I've heard a lot of people be like, Oh, it's bad for a nigga to ask. If a nigga asks what the budget is, they be like, oh, what you what you giving me? But, yeah, bad. Promoters like you asking what the budget is when they can't afford your first number. Mm. Because at the end of the day, they see that you're trying to work with them, and then they'll bring you back again and again and oh, again. Oh, so you get your, num you like get your number first, then, OK. Yeah, yeah. Just baby J with the bookings. For sure. How do you determine your worth, though? You got to look at the market price. Everything is going nah, on. You can't, right. you can't nah, you can't determine yeah, your worth yeah, yeah. nobody nah. else. Nah. It's like, it's it's like your that. Time. Your worth is internal. Yes. Your worth is internal, and then but that's what it comes to being unrealistic, though. That's what nah, you're talking about. Nah, it's nah, like, nah, it's nah, like, nah. it's like. I feel the, like on the way up, on the way up, it's all, it's all paid promo to me. Uh -huh. Like if you yeah. ain't already made it, take whatever to get in front of this crowd to show the next person who's gonna book you what you can do with a crowd. Right. What if, what if, what if you get what I'm saying? What if, what if the last three people paid ten, and then somebody coming with four or five? Ain't your worth ten now that three nah, people don't pay ten? I got some for that four or five. I ain't finna turn it. Well. That's just me. I'm not finna turn out. If I just did that 10 and did five songs, I'm, about, I'm gonna go do 10. seven minutes for these no, five I'm saying that 10, or your last four shows was 10. How and long the, was the show? A regular show. Okay. So oh, you're yeah. saying that if they come with four or five, I, but you got so, I got you. I walked through. I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna do my, do my hit. Right. I ain't finna come through and sweat for now, this one. We ain't gonna that, do half. We gonna but, do like but, one song, maybe a hook and a verse. But I'm saying, okay, on the flip uh, end, this, back. this how artists think, though. What <laughs> All the ladies over here. <laughs> what, what if that disappoint the fans? How, that's how, how artists that's think. The that's they the They want to see five no, songs. See, that's where, that's real no, hardcore. No, 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 no. This is, that's where, that's where your management and the people you have handling your business come into play because at the end of the day, if these people only have 5,000 and you guys have the agreement that you're gonna come and do $5,000 worth of shit, that advertisement and that promotion for that particular event doesn't advertise. need to be performing live all of its hits. It so needs to be, be a, a hosting or, you know what I'm saying, you. whatever, yeah, whatever. Yeah, and then, whatever, whatever. The yeah, and then like, a, you surprise them and give them a, a yeah, hook a in the bar exactly. and, a, and right. the ladies over here. Right. Right. You know, right. you just got your song playing with the mic in your hand. Right, yeah. right. Ad libbing it. Yeah. 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 I ain't getting sweated for this shit. Yeah. yeah. Stay the mic in the crowd, let them sing that shit for that five. Yeah, but if you, you know what I'm saying, if you, and announce it. If y'all want to see a real show, tell the promoter to give me. <laughs> <laughs> and we can fix this shit right, right now. now. Right. We gotta start this shit off right. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we got New Orleans in the house. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Oh, God. We're doing screen. Man, uh, pessimism. So don't, don't, don't be in the state of pessimism. That's what we got from today. You shouldn't be in the state of pessimism, even though some people are, mm. but all of us are pessimistic Yeah, sometimes. being in the state of pessimism is death to your future. Oh, I totally agree with that. Yeah, so try but, to. But being too optimistic is Optimism. What? It's naive and, what's the other word? Uh, gullible. Gullible. If you're just an optimist. Being too optimistic could possibly set yourself up for that same failure that being in a state of pessimism can. For sure. So they're basically the same shit. 
I got a question. Go for it. So what happens if, like, for example, if it's been known that DJ Scream is some bullshit, right? And I've never met DJ Scream a day in my life, but everybody around me is saying DJ Scream is some bullshit. And I meet you, and I'm not fucking with you. Does that make me pessimistic? Yeah, it's based on your, I can't say experiences. It makes you a follower. Yeah, exactly. Following. It makes you a follower to me. You have a pessimistic. Because I, 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 you don't I, know what I only made judge people, people off of the reaction from me. You could be some yeah. straight bullshit. Mm -hmm. And I can see it. But if you don't treat me that way, I can't hold you to that. Right. right. Exactly. That's just how I look at it, because I don't know what he saw what he saw in you to make him be some bullshit to you. Mm. Right. Until you be some bullshit to me, that's the only way I can say you some bullshit. Me and you good. Mm. Mm. Go that's just how I've always been. Like, we, we asked that a long time ago. Mm -hmm. Like, can you do business with somebody that say a person do shady business? Yes. Because I'm already pessimistic about doing business with niggas. So I'm watching you. Mm. You already know. Yeah, I'm already kind of trying to do some shady shit, too. <laughs> <laughs> no, you get what I'm saying? I'm already kind of watching you anyway, no matter who it is. You can come clean face, suit, or you can come with a ski mask on. Either way, I'm still watching you. Because mm. I'm already pessimistic about doing business with people. Period. Mm. Right? Anyway. Because it's known that you can get fucked by goddamn the, the pretty face or the ugly face, right? Yeah. yeah. Facts. So it don't matter what they saying about Scream. Maybe Scream ain't met the right nigga to do business with yet. In my mind. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe I was wrong. Yeah. So I'm optimistic about that, huh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Maybe we jail. Yeah. And this is his time to prove that, hey, this nigga ain't no bullshit. Maybe I be the voice to say, shit, well, I just made a hundred million with him. Mm. Yeah. Because every nigga, they, they, every, you can't name a nigga at the top, they ain't saying some bullshit. Name one. Yeah. Yeah, everybody got some mm -hmm. bullshit on Yeah. Them. Yeah. That's true. I don't think you can get to the top without a nigga saying they're on some bullshit. Yeah, so who, who, who finna got them? Who finna, like you said, who finna got them? X and they got. Yeah, X and they got before you even see. Mm. Yeah. Like I said, I'm gonna give you a chance to prove to me you good or prove to me you some bullshit. Yeah. Mm. Especially if, I, if it's off the word of somebody else, they could have been the bullshit. Yep. But, you what if, but if I get around you and start seeing the signs immediately, then yeah. Yeah, you mm -hmm. gotta That's react. What it is. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you gotta react. Yeah. Then we, do, we deal with this shit accordingly. Right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. react. react accordingly. Mm -hmm. Yep. Big Facts Friday, you know what I'm saying? Appreciate everybody tuning in, rocking with us. Any final words? Anybody want to say something? Anything on your mind, your heart, your soul, your spirit? I just want to say, man, I really appreciate y'all. This shit is like therapy for me. <laughs> therapy for A sure. lot of these yes. words that I hear, I be saying like, damn, boy, you be pessimistic than a motherfucker about shit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, shit, you got, got them narcissist traits. <laughs> you know? Bank I, mean, I have been a millionaire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've made something bad better. Like, a lot yeah. of this shit really helps me, bro. And you are mm. cognizant of the fact okay, that, that yeah, uh, exactly, you know, you bro. have a lot going on. We all have a lot going on, and we're incorporating this into our daily lives, and it's really allowing us to ascend. I look in the mirror every morning and take accountability for my action. That's why I was able to say, I get why Shantae is the way she is sometimes when she like that. Shout out to because Shantae. Because of what I've done. Big Shantae. You know what I'm saying? Like, I just had to go through the whole shit about, oh yeah, and I told her I was to correct this. When we uh, interviewed Hot Boy and I was like, Hot Boy, don't you think you need two women? Like, she took that shit to the max. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't saying I need, but I probably did, but I didn't mean it. <laughs> you didn't mean it. I, that, how she took it, I didn't mean it like that. <laughs> this is entertainment. What camera am I looking in? Right there. All of them. The okay, this server. is entertainment, queen. I am screaming. Let me do my job. <laughs> <laughs> Big oh, Shantae. So for the record. <laughs> nah, but, for the record. For the record. Let me do my job. Shantae. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> but on some real shit, though, this shit really oh, helps. God. And I hope the way this shit helped me is helping people at home, man. That's what yeah, big that real shit. We get people walk up to us all the time. Like, man. Walking up on us. Y'all don't, like, don't go out like that, man. Be like, you be outside. Be, be Boy, y'all don't even understand. Like, that shit be for real, like, Every day it having me like almost on the verge of tears. Like people come up to me saying how like our discussions and our talks and shit, like basically for lack of a better way to put it, take them off of the edge or mm -hmm. off of the ledge. Therapy. Because 
they don't be having people to talk to and they don't be having people that understand what they're going through. And then when they watch us and see all of our different perspectives, it gives them a new outlook on life. For sure. Mm -hmm. yeah. so, nah, that's what I'm saying. I'm hearing it. Then they it. feel like they're not the only ones going through the shit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Relatable. Nah, you got to get that shit out. I start meditating. Screen put me on Meditating. Meditating. Yeah. You tell me that one. You told me I that. I know, but you started? That shit really don't be working, though. See, now you, you, gotta gotta you, gotta you gotta keep going. You gotta keep going. like I told you, you gotta graduate to the hot yoga. Your I life is gonna be different. I can't graduate because I can't. How long you doing? Can out. you get five minutes in? Man. Two. I told you, I started with that two. Five shit ain't working. I can't be quiet. That hot yoga long. is gonna be quiet. You listen to meditation music while you do it. My mind be too loud. You do guided meditation when the lady is telling you to do it. But you are meditating. Try the guided meditation. You are meditating. You don't know it, though. Yeah. When you're on when that you're trail, you're meditating. Yeah. Oh, no, that's it. You meditate. That's it. Yeah. I'm addicted to it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You don't be thinking too much. You kind of zoom in in nature. You meditate. Nah, you I got my boy Mike Will. He called me early. He just called me early before I got here. Hike Will. Hike Will. Hike oh, Will yeah. made it. He on it. Nature Boy Bank. Yeah, we yeah. out there. Yeah. We don't hit like five, six trails together. Yeah, nah, that shit really. That's how I came up with like a lot of shit I come up with on that trail. That yeah. shit helped me though, for real. That's yeah, what it's that's for about. sure meditation. Yeah, that's meditation. I ain't know that. Yeah, that make your mind. Your mind is working at its highest. Capacity because you meditate, you're treating your and mind. You're able to focus on the nature and not everything else around you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. A lot of it is just about getting away from the phone sometimes. Big fun. Oh, definitely. Uh, real yeah. shit. Yeah, that's why I, I don't fuck Instagram. I ain't even been on Instagram. I really don't. I probably deactivated. <laughs> yeah, my shit deactivated. It is. It is. And they ain't took it. It just deactivated. I need. I need rest from that shit. That shit give me anxiety and all type of shit. I think it get all of it. I think we don't know how much anxiety it yeah. gives all like, of it. It does. We it's too like tuned in. having your phone number. Mm. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Too tuned in, too tapped in, too yeah. tapped in. Yeah, yeah it's we, like motherfucker having your phone we, number. And I ain't never been the type of nigga you just get in touch with. Yeah. Mm. Like nigga DM you, bruh. And, and the first couple words look like, damn, I need to open this. Mm. You open it some, oh, oh man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I got deep shit. Yeah. I got deep shit, in general. Yeah, that's why I just <laughs> took my <laughs> shit down. Yeah. Nah, but you know, you don't, you don't want to be an asshole. I don't. Mm -mm. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Because some of these people really just don't understand that. This ain't the way. The nigga who you knew ain't him. Mm. Anymore. I'm different. Yeah. <laughs> I'm on big facts and shit now. I'm on cameras and lights and shit. <laughs> I don't want to talk about the things that I used to want to talk about. Shouts to Diddy for the I don't the even want to know the motherfuckers well, that I used to know. What was yeah. the post that Diddy put up where he picked up the phone and there was some bullshit? He's like, I ain't got time for that shit right now. I hung up and got back to his exactly. business. Exactly. Yeah. yeah, that's mood. But yeah. It's, like people, mood. it's like people you love but have a misunderstanding of that. They don't mm -hmm. understand that. Yeah. It's like, mm -hmm. th that's And they something. take it like you're trying to be funny or, you know what I'm saying? Like, like, you're trying to act different. Yeah, but it's just, I'm in a different space now and I can't, I can't afford to go back. So I can't even entertain, can't entertain the shit that, shit that I was entertaining when I was back there. I was thinking, I was thinking the other day, like, like how people, how easy for people to start hating you, right? A motherfucker can know you all their life, right? Mm -hmm. And the people around them in their circle know that this person knows you all your, all your life. Mm -hmm. But it's like, you know him, but he don't know you. So it's like this. Motherfucker be like, don't you fuck with the nigga bank? At first he's going to be like, yeah, hell yeah, that's my man. And then they start saying like, bro, it don't seem like you fuck with him. What he going to start saying when the next people ask? Hell no, nah, fuck that nigga, nigga Hollywood. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Poison. Yeah. But it, but, but when it at just, the end of yeah, when at the end of the day, not to cut you off, I'm sorry. It's not that you don't fuck with the nigga, but to outside appearances, because you're not with this nigga every day, or you don't post pictures with this nigga, or you not on your story with this nigga, or whatever. It seems like you're not as close to the nigga as you really are. When at the end of the day, like shit, y'all are still the same. Y'all really close, but that starts. But you hate, just don't have that time. That starts yeah. hate and yes. um, resentment, right? Envy. Yes, mm -hmm. because because it's like you go to thinking like this nigga don't fuck with me. But where do you fit it in these people's life? Exactly, exactly. You where you supposed to be in Like all place. these top big ass artists are my friends. I don't talk to these niggas every year, every day. I might not talk to one of them till a year, but we pick up right where we left off at. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's my man's. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. You see, if you, if, you see, if you see somebody that know me, you, hey, tell bro I love him. Tell bro, woo, woo, woo. We don't have to, and I got your number, you got my number one to talk. But you doing your thing, I'm not, I'm not feeling like, Cause you over here, and I'm over here. I gotta hate you. Yeah. 
Right. But that's you. Some people don't look at it like yeah. that. Some people don't even know how to grasp that. Like people don't know how people can move, how, um, grow apart. Yeah. Like you could grow apart from somebody and still love them and yeah. still have a back, but still you just on thing. some different shit right now, and they're on whatever they're on. You know what I'm saying? Sure. Some people just don't know how to deal with that. Gotta, gotta but be, it's not you gotta even be able to celebrate other people's success. Yeah, yeah it's not it even necessarily growing apart. You guys are just on two different levels right now. That's growing mm -hmm. apart. Yeah, yeah. I mean, growing apart. <laughs> that's growing apart. Growing apart. Okay. If you're on a different level than a motherfucker. But you still that's hard. A, the proper thing to do is. <laughs> but it wasn't like y'all were together every it day. Wasn't from the beginning. It wasn't yeah, intentional. It wasn't growing apart. Yeah. That's what you're trying to say. Yeah. I didn't intentionally grow from you, but I'm just growing. Yeah. Yeah. Right? And we don't have much to talk about no more because sometimes you can lose interest in certain things. Like, for example, like if you're a type of person that used to club with everybody, all y'all do, y'all used to be in the clubs, like and you, then Jay, you don't want to do it no more. Club, no more. Mm. People probably yeah. look at that as some funny shit. They but don't. you just yeah. outgrow it. You just they don't do it. And you ain't on no funny shit. I just rather be chilling. Yeah. Yeah. I'm too busy. That's growth. Y'all grow apart. Yeah. Any motherfucker that going to the club every night, that ain't for you. Right. Yeah, it's not. But a lot of people measure their friendship to you with how much access you allow. Yes. 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 That's what it, that's, yes. you just, you yes. just broke it down. Nailed it. In a good firm. Nailed cool it. Firm yes, way. You, you nailed You've it. been on fire today, Kodak. One you, time. Yeah. You yeah. Yeah. Be yeah. yeah. You be sleeping and shit. My birthday is for me. Yeah. 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 Redemption. Come on, bring the champagne, Redemption. people. Redemption. Yeah. Redemption. Yeah. Had the hoop before I came up here, you know. <laughs> hey, we appreciate y'all tapping into another Big Facts Friday. Make sure you follow us at Big Facts Five, at Big Facts Pod. Big Facts Pod. <laughs> and make sure you check us out www.bigfactspod.com. Salute. Salute. You're listening to Big Facts with Big Bank and DJ Scream.